Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought I'd do a little video about papaya tonight. This is Carica papaya. Um, it's probably, quite possibly, my favourite tropical fruit, which would probably surprise some people, because it's quite surprising how many people I've come across that aren't, aren't that keen on papaya, uh, for no apparent reason, I'm not sure why, but I really enjoy the fruits and uh, it's extremely versatile and normally available in two or three types and sizes over here so I thought it'd be interesting just to uh, have a quick look at two completely different ones that I've bought in the last day or two <clears throat> and talk about prices and costs here which might interest um, people in particular in Australia and uh, America because it'll be interesting to get a comparison on them and how they price them here now <coughs> The first thing to know here is papaya aren't sold, or at least they're not normally sold by weight. Whether or not they are any um, Asian markets, I don't know. But basically, they're sold per unit here. And the larger you tend to go, the more val better value for money they are. But of course, it depends on where you buy them from and what, um, what actual sort of variety they are and the country they originate from. Now... The one I picked up today on the way home, this little small one, is a, as you can see, it says produce of Brazil on it. <coughs> Doesn't list the variety, so I can't check what it is. Um, it's probably something like Solo or Golden. They're the most common ones here. Golden is often the one that comes from Brazil. Quite surprised it hasn't got a name on it. Might have done on the box. Now this tiny little avocado, no, it's not avocado, this tiny little papaya, um cost one pound eighty, which at current exchange rates is equivalent to about uh Australian dollars three fifty or US dollars two thirty. So I would say it's probably more expensive here than you would pay there. Um <clears throat> I'm not gonna bother out working out the weight per kilo or per pound because it's a very small fruit. Now the large one on the other hand, which as you can see it's quite a substantial size. This actually weighs two pounds fourteen ounces, so one point three kilos. Now I paid, I think it was five pounds ninety nine, so near enough six pounds for this. So this one actually cost uh, in Australian dollars eleven sixty two, or US dollars about seven sixty five. Now to do a conversion for you in prices per kilo, I had a quick work out <clears throat> and this price is out at about two this is US dollars 265 US dollars per pound or in Australian dollars per kilo it's 895 Australian dollars per kilo so um, that will give you some idea on how they might compare with fruits in your own country and obviously you'll have to convert that if you live in other parts of the world or you work in euros now um, <clears throat> one of the reasons i like papaya so much is they are a very very versatile fruit um you can buy them obviously green it's not so common here but you can buy a papaya green here and if they're completely green um, they make a very good vegetable you can cook them in various ways um and also uh they're commonly shredded in sort of things like Thai salads. There's a Thai salad called uh, Som Tum, if I remember rightly, Som Tum Thai. And that's um, <clears throat> that. the main ingredient in that is green shredded papaya. And of course you can, uh, you can use the, um, you can also cut the papaya into slices and eat it with uh, chili sauce, salt, pepper, whatever your taste is, uh, which is a very popular Asian palate. I prefer to eat them when they're ripe. Now, one of the things about papaya is, if I remember rightly, it contains an enzyme called papain, which is um, a digestive enzyme, which means that these are a particularly good fruit to have with, uh, to have if you're having a large meal, because the enzymes in them help your digestive system deal with the food you've eaten. You can also, apparently, I never had to do it, but if you're a meat eater, you can... Uh, if you squeeze these and form a make it, take the juice out of them, 
and you marinate the uh, meat in the juice for a period of time that apparently tenderises the meat as I said I haven't tried it so I don't know and of course you might get the flavour of uh, you might get the flavour of um, sort of a sweeter juice on the meat but that might enhance the meat anyway but I've not tried it but they are meant to be a good tenderiser now this large one as you can probably see is grown in Colombia <clears throat> excuse me I had no idea again of the variety it doesn't tell you on the label it's got a code on it that says 79 but it's not always easy to find these companies online to look up the codes um, it may well give the variety uh, you know if if you can look it up the uh, let me see it says FMX Columba so I'm guessing FMX is the name of the company in Columba I assume is Columbia um, but I just like to eat papaya as sort of ripe sweet fruit now they don't always have the, the same sweetness as mango which I also enjoy but the reason papaya are my favorite fruits is it's it's not too sweet or sugary and in fact it's really it's one of those fruits you can eat um, I like to squeeze lime or lemon juice onto it, but you could just as easily sprinkle it with sugar as well. And of course, it makes really, really good smoothies when it's blended with other fruits because it normally has quite a good juice uh, content. So what I thought we'd do is um, I'll just flip the camera around and we'll just cut these, uh, a slice out of these two fruits so we can see what they look like inside. This one's supposed to be ripe. It's probably slightly under this one's a little bit over because these big ones get bruised quite easily and you start to get these little uh, soft patches on them so I, I normally it's just starting to go there a little bit so I normally um, refrigerate these ones once I get them this one will be right in the fruit bowl for a day or two but not once I've cut it so we'll slice them up and let you have a look inside and um, we'll have a little taste right so here we go we'll start with the small one this is just a normal supermarket one bought. This one came from Sainsbury's. Most of the big supermarkets here sell them. It does feel does feel pretty ripe to me. Now, as usual, it's got uh, it's full of these little black seeds. Um, I think there are some people that do eat them, but they're not uh, they're not exactly. Uh, what I would call tasty and there are some medical reasons why you shouldn't eat the seeds as well so personally I like to stick to eating the flesh um, let's just have a little slice of this it looks to me like a very nice it's a nice pinky orange colour yeah that's um, that's lovely for me now, I know if you don't like papaya, you're not going to like the flavour. But I also think a lot of people have had fruits that weren't very good. Bought from a supermarket and they were probably of poor quality. That one is uh, a really nice ripe. That's a really nice ripe uh, fruit, that one, actually. Now, this one I'm expecting to be even riper. I mean, it, this is a hell of a size. As I said, it's £2.14 ounces close to three pounds and there are bigger ones as well although the other thing is they're all the same price so you could get one smaller than that or could be large for five pounds 99 um, i just picked one that i thought looked like a reasonably good fruit and wasn't too damaged so we'll just see if we can uh, slice into this it's going to be the same color as the other one i'm sure i mean to give you some idea of how much i enjoy papaya i won't but i could actually I could quite happily eat that whole fruit in one go. Now this one is a little bit, uh, not quite as darkish pink as the other one. Still looks to be fairly ripe. Um, I don't normally bother saving the seeds because they're so hard to keep the seedlings alive here. They always, uh, they always seem to rot off. They suffer from damping off badly in our climate. It's challenging to keep them alive. Although my friend Joe is doing very, very well with them. Let's try, try this one out. Very nice. I'd say it's kind of almost a melony flavour. It's not as sweet as the other one. These do vary a lot in in 
sweetness, but for me, it's a lovely sort of lightweight fruit. Not sure how to describe the flavour. So it's got a, like, as I said, a hint of melon, but really, they taste like papaya. I think, oddly enough, I think the small one is actually the nicer fruit. That was, that's one of the nicest small papayas I've had for a long, long time. Good on you, good on you, Sainz, but it's expensive, but, expensive, but a really, really nice, uh, really nice flavour. Um, I don't know if the skin's edible on papaya, I never eat the skin, because after all, you don't know where it's been for a long time or how it's been stored, so I normally give them a wash, but, Mm. That's a very nice fruit. I mean, I like to eat it just like this, but for me, it's lovely in a fruit salad. It's lovely if you juice it. It's just a fruit that I really, really enjoy. And I'd say, as I said, for me, I think it's probably my favourite tropical fruit, more so than mangoes, but that will probably shock some people who don't like papaya at all. But uh, I thought you might enjoy a slightly more in-depth video and tasting as I had the opportunity to pick up two totally different size papaya and also um, give you an idea of the prices here compared to uh, perhaps America and Australia for anyone interested. So thanks for watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Share it if you think anybody might be interested, especially if they're thinking of uh, trying papaya over here. Please subscribe to my channel and, of course, click on the bell. If you'd like to know when new videos come out, I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.